now I've got 2,000 points left. I'm going with that. I'm going to buy a random weapon, which is conveniently placed right here. I'm probably going to get speed cola. That's probably going to be the other perk that I get, other than the double tap. Originally, it didn't have mule kick. Of course, um, it was only a recent, thanks to a recent update, that we actually had um, mule kick in every single map. I think it is, apart from maybe, <laughs> apart from Dead Ops Arcade. Which, cool. I mean, I'm not sure if Dead Ops Arcade really counts as a zombie map. It's a zombie mini game. I think that's basically what I'm going to call it, a zombie mini game. So yeah, now three weapons. <coughs> Mule kick is on the map. Very nice. There's also another electric trap here. There's also a fire trap in a um, basically somewhere where I haven't actually opened yet. So you probably see that later. Um, there's an MP5K on the wall there. For the music easter egg, there is, oh wait, no, of course I haven't opened all of them yet. So I haven't opened all the areas yet, I'll probably get to it once I've done that. And again, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And again, all three of them this time. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And then line them up again, do it, Let's shoot them a bit more. And there we go. 3,000 points. I think I'm going to get a uh, speed cooler. <coughs> I usually just call it quick reload, even though that isn't actually any of the names for it. It's just what it does. I mean, it gives you a quick reload. So I call it quick reload, even though it's speed cola or sleight of hand. Either way, it's not actually quick reload, but I just decided to call it quick reload. So I feel like it. So there you go. Oh yeah, I, I kind of uh, lost my train of thought with the uh, Modern Warfare 3 thing. Um, as far as uh, things that I'm going to do pretty much instantly as soon as I uh, get the game, is one of the first things I'm going to do is, uh, of course, check out the um, both multiplayer and uh, Spec Ops modes, uh, mainly survival mode, I guess, because that looks, that's looking pretty good at the moment. But, um... <coughs> Yeah, I'm also going to, uh, I guess, I'm not sure if combat training is actually in the game, but basically, I'm not going to, don't worry, I'm not going to be like a noob and just like instantly go on combat training, because that's what I want to do, it's just basically because, um, I, known for a while now, um, since, of course I've known for a while now, it's, um, relatively common knowledge, I guess, I'm not sure, because no one really does anything on combat training, really, on YouTube, but, um, Basically, on uh, combat training, on offline, when you're on combat training, you do actually have access to, um, well on Black Ops at any rate, you do have access to um, all guns and attachments while in um, the offline mode on combat training. So, if that is so um, on uh, Modern Warfare 3, then I will be able to um, give you like a first look of... Um, you know, like, uh, maybe the MSR with gold camo, or the, um, you know, it's just stuff like that. Stuff that I'm going to be interested in, like, the, um, weapons that you probably are not, because, of course, the MSR, isn't that the, uh, I think it's the, um, last, uh, sniper rifle you unlock, so naturally it's going to be a fairly high level that you unlock it. Ooh, dogs, so it's going to be, um, going to be nice. <coughs> so, yeah, basically... Um, yeah, I'm going to be taking a look on combat training at the, um... Ooh, ballistic knife. Don't think I'm really going to keep this, but, uh, you know. Ha-ha! 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 What the hell have I got? Oh, God, I'm not getting that. God, I'm not getting that. But basically, I'll, t I'll, I'll be taking a look, um... Pretty much instantly at the, um... The uh, higher level weapons in the game. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Coming in Modern Warfare 3. The Dragon up! Yeah! God, how how do I keep ending up getting this game? Sorry, not the game. It's gun. I keep end up getting this gun. Oh god, you you just gotta love that. Oh <laughs> god, I like the Dragon up. If you um, if this is like your first time. Watching one of my commentaries, you'll um, better tell you now. I just, I don't think it's actually particularly effective, like online or just on its own in zombies. But just in general, for like the name and just the way it is, the Dragonov is just a completely awesome gun. 
just can't deny it. It just is awesome. And um, also, when it is actually pack a punch, when you do actually pack a punch it on um, on Black Ops Zombies, um, it is actually surprisingly enough very effective at actually just mowing down large amounts of zombies. Surely because it's got a fairly far, fairly fast fire rate. Because of course it's semi-automatic, it's not going to be incredibly slow fire rate, and it is <laughs> really quite powerful. And it's got a fairly suitable amount of ammo in um, both in general and in the uh, and in a mag. So you know it's it's actually very fe fairly effective. It's um, just generally a good high power weapon if you're um, if you want. Gun like that, I don't know why I'm using this HS10. I really don't like um, shotguns in zombies. I find they just don't really have any ammo. And, uh, yeah, I mean you can see uh, you can't really use a um, a uh, gun for that long. I think I'm going to try and do is get probably um, the ray gun, the thunder gun, and maybe like the M16 or something. I don't know why I just ended the round. Shouldn't have done that at all, but. Um, you know, maybe an M16, maybe um, maybe I'll pack a box of Dragon on for a little bit and use that for a bit. But you know, never know what will happen. Oh, um, the crossbow. Um, it's pretty good upgraded. It's just um, not really sure whether I really want it to be honest. Um, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I think for now I'm just gonna. Um, well, use up the um, many arrows up on this already. I'm just going to go around here. So yeah, basically this is the um, general strategy area. You can be running around just in the middle of the stage, really. I mean, this is the general circular um, or ocular or whatever the hell, whatever the hell shape it is. Just the general uh, little run around you're going to be doing. Um, of course, you can um, branch out into down there, I mean, of course it's not exactly a bad place to go when, uh, if you're having trouble, you just go around there. And pretty much instantly, back in the game. Da -da. And there you go. Got it back into the motion again. Now I'm just going to spray all of this <laughs> into, uh, why is no one helping? It's Nick, but he's awesome. should help. Weep, 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 weep. Da -da. Running now, and one more. I just missed it. Brilliant! This just missing, missing with a shotgun. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, basically that's what the thunder gun does. Up my up. Oh, uh, I didn't even hear the rest of that. I just heard up my ass, and I knew that it just had to be awesome. I don't. I'm not sure what exactly is set. I think there are like two zombies. Oh, maybe three. Three. So yeah. Um. You should probably know when uh, zombies start. So stop spawning. It doesn't look like they have actually completely stopped spawning, but spawning is definitely slower, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that is very weird, Nikolai. So yeah, I'm just gonna get some random weapons. Um, once you've got all the perks, Random weapons are pretty much all you can really get apart from pack punch. The yeah, famous. Am I just pack a punch just for um, shits and giggles? <laughs> because it's called giggles. Well, it's not actually called giggles. It's um, well, you know, with the number. Oops, sorry, boom a tissue. My cold isn't entirely gone, but uh, yeah. So you know the number substitution and all that. So I could go to the um, pack a punch if I wanted to. Not sure what I'd really pack a punch though, because you know I've got. Well, pretty much, I mean, I've used one bullet of my thunder gun, so I'm not exactly going to pack up to that. Dragonov, I'm not even sure if I... Oh, that was handy. Um, not even sure if I really want to use the um, Dragonov that much, but, um, you know, ooh, that's the um, CZ-75. Anyway, I think now I might as well just open um, all those doors just to show you where the stuff is. So, yeah, here is um, the first... So little meteor you can see in there is um, for the uh, music easter egg for here, 750 points, this is basically the other way you could go, there's an MTL on the wall there, two doors and a fire trap here, there's one activation station here and one over there, 
see it. It's a fire trap. It kind of, um, well, you can see there, loads of pipes. It just comes up in fire. Any zombie that walks through it die. A bit like an electric tap, except it gets fiery. Um, yeah, there's double tap root beer there. Um, for 2,000 points. Uh, also, you can actually walk around the fire trap. Just go around there. Can't actually move through there, but just walk around it there. Can I hear a new zombie spawning? Instead of like the old call. But anyway, double tap there. The zombies, be careful while you're at here. Oh, uh, there's a place for the box. Um, careful while you're at here because they do drop down from there. There's another window. There's also this here. And that's a 250 point door. There's a um, another electric trap here, and the other switch is there. There's another place for the box, and the um, another meteor for the Easter egg is there. That's basically the door that goes down um, to there. It's um, two doors open at once, so basically uh, you open that, go downstairs, and there are two. There's another one. Sorry, not two. There's a semi for you on the wall there, by the way. So, um, there's a radio up there if you want to shoot it. I'm not sure if I can really see it properly, but I might be able to shoot it. Can't really see it to shoot it. But, you know, it's it's there. There's a radio there. <laughs> you can trust me. There's a radio there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So yeah, the um, final piece for the um, I say final. You can do it in really any order, but the um, only remaining. Um, moon rock for the um, music Easter egg is right there. You can see. Um, it's quite an easy way to um, find the. Hear the. Keep thinking I hear zombies breaking through stuff. Yeah, that was definitely a zombie breaking through. Where the hell are you, you bastard? Where the hell are? You? There you are. No, oh, no, you don't. Da -da 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 -da. You call it yet? No, your arms didn't get cut. That's it. Uh, I think the caller may have died randomly. When a caller dies randomly on Black Ops, on World of War they just die in the round ends, but in um, Black Ops a new zombie spawns when a caller dies randomly. I guess it's to, um, in case you like can't find a crawler. But yeah, anyway, the um, things for the music easter eggs, it's quite easy, makes it quite easy to find them on all maps, except in Moon, where if you've got the PES space on, spacesuit on, it's kind of difficult to hear it, because it's muffled, of course, but they emit a kind of, um, too, I'll just kill him so that you can hear it a bit easier, maybe. Uh, you might have heard that, it's like, you know, <laughs> God, worst impression ever anything. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, zombies come down from there and stuff, you know. Just, just watch and learn, people. Watch and learn. Watch and learn where all the places are. Oof. Yeah, of course, I will be, um, I'm not sure, I'll probably do it on um, Battlefield 3 as well, but um, I will be um, live commentating over my ooh, first game on both. My first multiplayer game, I'll be live commentating over that. Probably be live co commentating over my first survival mode game on Modern Warfare 3. I'll um, probably be um, live commentating over my first game on the proper Battlefield 3. 2. I'm not sure how much that'll change. I know that I was kind of pissed off because I was really looking forward to getting the. I wasn't actually that um, high level on the Battlefield 3 beta, but um, I know that the next time I leveled up my recon kit, I was going to get the M40A5, which I was really looking forward to. I know that the. Um, Basically, I kind of, um, you know, I I used the SV98. It was all right. I and then I was like getting the feel for a, um, a like a new bolt action sniper. And the M4005, if, if it's, I mean, it's probably not like the M4003, um, but just for the just for the fact that it is an M40, is just, I mean, because of how popular. I don't know why I'm not killing these at all. Let's get used to that. 